Well, I didn't think that we'd be back here again talking about the Flipper Zero, but here we are. Let's get started. Hello and welcome to Modern Broadcast. In today's episode, we're looking back at the Flipper Zero uh, video that I had done a little while back, and a lot of you have wanted me to make another video about this. I debated back and forth as a lot of what the Flipper Zero can do is really in that gray area. So in today's episode, we're going to be looking at the bad USB feature uh, that works right out of the box. A few things that we're going to need here is the Q flipper um, executable. And so as you see, I have that opened here. My current firmware is 0.55.1, and it looks like the most recent release is 0.66.1. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and not do that for now, as I do plan on making another video on updating to custom firmware, uh, and maybe looking at the Unleashed firmware. So as I stated, what we're going to be looking at today is the bad USB feature. Um, so for those of you that don't know, in the browser of your flipper, there is a bad USB. So it looks like we have a demos Mac OS, demos Windows, and then this is a custom one that I put on um, that doesn't quite function yet, but I'm still messing with the code and trying to uh, get that one to work. A bad USB is basically a device, and there are many out there, um, but in the Flipper Zero's case, basically the bad USB is you will write some scripts in a ducky language, and writing that script, you save it and export it as a .txt, and as you see here on the side, we have quite a few of them. So opening up the TXT files won't do anything. Um, if we open this, it just opens it in Notepad and nothing happens. Um, but when we take these and we put them on the Flipper Zero, and then when we utilize them in the bad USB, that allows the programs to run. Now these programs that you're, you're scripting, they could do something as simple as subscribing to a particular YouTube channel, hint, hint, wink, wink, or you could even use it to export the Wi-Fi name and password that you're currently using on this particular computer. Um, you could do something as simple as do the wake up Neo segment from the Matrix. The bad USB has many uses. You could even do what's called a fork bomb on Windows or Linux. Um, where basically it will open up window after window and after window until basically the computer DDoSes and shuts down. There's even scripts that you're able to write if there are certain files that you want to copy. You can write a script to extract any and all files that end in popular formats, you know, .pdf, .jpeg, .png, and it will copy all those files and put them in a temporary place, get them off the computer, and then delete that you were ever there. So bad USB has good uses and definitely bad uses. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we'll need is Notepad++. I'll have a link down in the description where you can download um, everything that we talk about today. So you want to download the most recent version, uh, which is version 8.4.5 um, as the date of this video. Once that's done downloading, we're going to go ahead and install that. All right, now that we downloaded a Notebook++, plus plus, the next thing that you want to do is go back to that awesome Flipper Zero directory on GitHub that was in my first video, which by the way, if you have not seen, I strongly recommend you give that a watch as it kind of does a more showcase of what the Flipper Zero can do. So once we're at the Flipper Zero uh, GitHub page, we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna click on the playground here, which is a large collection of files, documentation, and dumps of all kinds. After that loads, we're gonna click on bad USB. Now one thing that we'll need beforehand uh, in order to type these scripts up and export them the way we need to, we need this ducky script underscore UDL. So we have this user defined language dot XML. We're gonna click on that. We're gonna come over here to raw and we'll right click and save as. We're gonna save this to our downloads, which is user defined lang dot XML. And then we'll want to install the notepad plus plus. After that's installed, you're gonna go over to language come down to user defined, going to define your language and click this, 
and this window will pop up. You then want to click import, go to your downloads, and there's that user defined language and click open. It'll say that the import was successful. Say okay. You'll want to close Notepad++ and reopen it. Upon reopening Notepad++, click language again. And you'll see here we have Ducky Script. We'll see that it's now selected and we can type our code. But what if you don't know how to write Ducky Script? Well, the good news is, is that the playground has you covered. There are many .txt files here that you can utilize and that are at your disposal. Simply find one that sounds interesting. We're gonna, again, only do ones that are lighthearted and meant for pranks, as some of these uh, can get you into quite some trouble. But let's go ahead and do the Rickroll YouTube on Windows, since I'm using a Windows PC. I'm gonna click on that. We see here's the code. I'm gonna click Raw. I'm gonna right click, save as, and I'm gonna put this on my desktop. So here I am back on my desktop and I've connected my Flipper Zero to my PC. I'm gonna open up QFlipper. Again, QFlipper is a great tool to update your firmware for your Flipper um, or just control it via the computer by clicking on the screen here. And basically it mimics everything that's happening on screen. Uh, but another neat feature that it does is there is a built-in file manager so I'm gonna open up my SD card. I'm gonna open up the bad USB. Now, any of these text files have to be in this bad USB directory. They can't be in subfolders or anything like that. So make sure to label your codes. That's something easy to remember and something easy to find. Here's our text code that we just downloaded. And now that's on the Flipper Zero. So in order for us to actually Utilize this, we're going to close the Q flipper. It's not allowed to be open. And then on the device physically, I'm gonna unlock it, push down, go to bad USB, and I'm gonna boot up the Rickroll. So I'm gonna click it once, and then it pops up with run an app. So I'm gonna say run an app, and then I'm gonna click run. So you have a little percentage bar and it'll tell you at what percentage that it's currently at. So in order to exit, I'm just gonna close this. But as you see, it worked just fine. There's a lot here and there's a lot of uses that you could uh, do with this. Again, just be smart, be responsible. Um, as, you know, Spider-Man, uh, Ben always said is with the great power comes great responsibility. Um, and with this device, that, that is very true. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. Uh, this content is a bit worrisome, but uh, you know, people are, are curious about this device. They wanna know more about it. And I will see you guys next week. Take care.